if I had like a box of truth, like let's pretend this is the box of truth, yeah. and you could ask it anything, and it would only tell you true things. And if you wanted to know um, where to, where you should be on abortion, what your stance should be, what do you ask it? It's a hard question to ask. Um. Okay, Val, right? Yes, and Val. <sighs> we were just uh, briefly talking over there. Oh, we decided not to split up the cameras. Okay. Veronica needs a little break. Okay. <laughs> But if you want to tell me um, again, I mean, sorry, <laughs> what you believe is uh, is true, what do you want to talk about? Um, I just I get frustrated with the lack of education in the education system. Um, there's a lot I could deep dive into, but I don't think I have enough time. Um, but certain things like sex education, and politics. And just um, <laughs> diversity in general is very lacked in okay. the school system. Which is the most important to you of like uh, sex, politics, diversity? Mm, I'm leaning towards sex education and politics. Okay. I can split a little between both of them. Wanna... Okay, sure. I, I guess. Like, talk about the fact. Let's talk about the uh, sex education. Sex education. I only had one class about it in like. But now, it's, so our school was divided into primary, intermediate, middle, and high school. During intermediate school, that we had one day of sex education, and it was nothing. Like it was absolutely nothing. We didn't learn about any other. Like we didn't know what being gay was. We didn't learn how. To have, so we didn't really learn what sex was. We just learned about the female and male organs and what was different about them. Mm -hmm. That's really all I learned. Trust me. Do you mind me asking what school system? I went to Luxembourg Casco High School. Um, I believe it was a very good school, but there were some questionable things. Um, but otherwise, I'm glad I went there and <laughs> grew okay. up there. Um, but the sex education, it was just very lacked. And I mean, my parents were very careful about what i was exposed to on the internet um like i was never a porn watcher i still don't but like i just know people who like found porn when they were like eight and that's just very shocking because like realized that so many people get so exposed and like i'm just thinking about it like now like children that are five become ipad kids and like they probably search stuff like that and they can because they see it on TikTok. Yeah. There, people are just so much more exposed right now. And then once you get into school and actually have sex education, you don't learn any more than what you see on porn. Okay. You know, so it's really oh. that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> so, I guess I'm trying to boil this uh, down. I'm trying to yeah. see what um, what it is that you believe in regards to this uh, sex education. You believe that it should be. Uh, like more extensive and earlier? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, I don't think it should be necessarily earlier. I think that probably middle school is when it should become a okay. thing. Um, because I feel like that's when children mostly become sexually active. I mean, I didn't, but like I just, from what I've heard from friends, um, middle school is usually yeah. the time where that kind of flourishes. Um, and I feel like it should be a kind of more extensive, maybe even a class okay. of just about like class. sex and gender studies or something. Okay. And Great. they could learn about every, anything and everything, and they can ask as many questions as they want, and you know, maybe even okay. debate a little. So I, I, I think maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But I think like you're very in favor of uh, sex education in uh, yeah. public schools, maybe private schools. I don't, you know, you think that should be a thing, right? I believe so. Yeah. And I think there's probably another group of individuals that might believe that uh, sex education, yeah, shouldn't be in schools. And maybe it's like the parents' job. I would imagine they yeah. might say. Um, See, yeah, I do. I do agree that it should also be the parents' job, but they can. I I guess they could 
maybe if they did end up making it into like a class, mm -hmm. they could have it be optional okay. to the parent. Like I, I believe that to an extent, yeah. Okay. Um, because the parent, then that gives them the responsibility to teach them what they should be taught in that regard and okay. to what they want their child to be taught. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so there should be like an opt out option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Like I'm very much in the middle of everything, <laughs> especially in politics and stuff. Okay. If there was someone who thought that uh, sex education um, shouldn't be uh, taught to children at all, like not even at home, um, I guess what do you think about that? Well, they're going to find it on their own eventually, and then <sighs> you want to protect your kid all the time, right? I'm not a parent, but the number one thing is to protect your child. And if you want them to stay away from those things and not know about sex, then you got to make sure that that is how that works. Like, don't stick them on an iPad to shut them up. They're going to find it at some point. Um, I just... There's always a certain age when you kind of mature and grow up, and that's usually middle school, and, like, you're figuring yourself out, so, like, high school kind of... So I would... If they didn't want to teach their child, that's their philosophy but gotcha. they're probably gonna have a bad sex life in the beginning so okay. everyone's gotta learn it's a thing that happens okay maybe we can shift gear into to politics yeah oh. so what are your thoughts on that politics i think is way out of proportion <laughs> like it's blown way too big right now okay um yeah it's who's running our country like and that's a big deal i understand mm -hmm. but I don't think friendships should be lost out of it. I don't think relationships should be ended because of what somebody believes. Mm -hmm. I'm very much a moderate, um, and some people get mad <laughs> that moderates are a thing, but they are. Um, like getting mad that you're not taking sides? Yeah, okay. and it's like, how can you believe that money is just important as uh, basic rights? And I'm like, I'm not saying that one is more important than one, that one is, that they're the same. They're not the same, right? But yeah. When it comes down to one or the other, yes, I would pick one, but it would be a terribly hard decision to pick, unfortunately for me as a moderate and in my opinions. But it's just like some things I agree with, some things I don't. Some things I agree with, some things I don't. Like, sure, it's just my ballot's usually 50-50. I can't, you know, pick. How, how do you determine which, uh, like, let's say there is a political idea from uh, a particular party? Yeah. Uh, how do you decide whether that is a good idea or a bad idea? Well, I think I'm kind of fortunate enough to have a parent. Like, my, my mother is very much liberal side. My father is very much Republican side. Like, okay. they're very opposite on their beliefs. But when I talk to my mom about it, she's very, she tells me both. Everything about both, she gives me websites that are not biased. I mean, everything is biased, but gives me goods and bads on every single thing. So when I talk to my dad, he's very much Republican and wants to push Republican. <laughs> and that's sure. fine. Like, I'm not going to be mad at him. Um, but, like, I have two very opposing sides straight to my, like, I can use them yeah. to, like, find out information. And, like, my dad's a very successful business owner, so he's big on the money part. My mom is a very kind and loving woman, and she's very big on the human rights part. So I guess yeah. I'm kind of educated enough to what I want to know. And if there if there is any big questions that I need to ask, I can just ask both of them and they'll answer for me and I'll make my decision to myself and keep it to myself. Sure. Yeah. If, if you were to, I mean, you're, I know you said, you said you were a moderate. Yeah. Is there one particular political issue that is really important to you? Um, as a moderate, yeah. Um, <laughs> I said abortion up there. That is a big one for me. Okay. Like, everybody has their own morals and I understand that yeah, it's I'm very, it's also very conflicting for me. It's like I would personally never, ever, ever get an abortion. It's against what I was brought up in. Like it's against my morals that the parents, my parents put in me. Not exactly a religious moral, but just a moral that's it's a human life, you know. But I can't tell another person what to do. We shouldn't be telling another person what to do. And it's they want to make that decision. It's their decision. They can get the repercussions that they deserve. But I don't believe that people should be going to jail for this. Okay. Um, I understand that it is see, but then they're taking away a life. Like it's it's so it's such a gray area, and I can't figure out how, where the line is drawn. 
Mm. And it's such a big debate and there's no right answer. So I don't feel like that's ever going to get solved. And no matter what, someone's going to be pissed. So what? It sounds like you're kind of undecided on that. Yeah, that's why I like say moderate. It's like I'm a little bit of both, you know, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I can ever, but for myself, I'm pro life to myself, but I'm also pro choice to anybody else, you know. Well, what could uh, persuade you, or what could you learn that might uh, change your confidence, um, you know, more towards pro abortion or more towards pro life? What could you learn that might change? I'm not sure. I know that there's a lot of laws that are trying to be pushed. Like, I know, like, with the education system, there's a lot that are going to mess up a lot for a lot of teachers. But I don't know. I See, I'm not too educated on, like, what laws are currently being pushed, but I have heard some things about, um, like, contraceptives and abortion and stuff, mm-hmm. and that's kind of terrifying. So, like, if some of these things actually get pushed, I'll be in a little different area. Man, right now. Yeah, you're good. Um, yeah. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I no, no, it was <laughs> on that part. Um, that could sway my decision. Yeah. Uh, see, and a lot of people like to make the analogy of. I mean, I just, I don't think I don't know how accurate it is, but um, if a woman has a fetus and it's not alive yet, and you you know abort it. It's people like to say that it's the same thing as a man putting sperm in you and all those other sperm are dying and those are also potential babies. So it's like, do you want a guy to stop ejaculating for the rest of his life? That's the same thing. But I I don't necessarily 100% agree, but I do understand the connection. Just little things like that. But if things were banned, it's just a whole whole nother level. I don't know. If I had like a box of truth, like let's pretend this is the box of truth. And you could ask it anything, and it would only tell you true things. And if you wanted to know um, where to, where you should be on abortion, what your stance should be, what do you ask it? It's a hard question to ask. Um, I'd probably ask the simple question of. Will there be a right answer? Is there a right answer? Yeah. That's a good, good question. Is there a right answer? I don't need to, and I don't need to know which one it is. I'll figure it out when I figure it out. But like, okay. will this ever be solved? Or not? Okay. Well, let's say that it says yes. There is a right and right and wrong answer. What do you, do you think it? it'll say? <laughs> I, I don't know. But um, let's say it does say there's a uh, right or wrong answer. Um, is there another question? You'd, would you ask it anything else? I don't think so. I no. think I'd be fine knowing if it was if there was a right answer, I would just live with that. Okay. Would you not want to know? No. You don't want to know? I don't think so. How much do you value believing in things that are true? I always have doubts about everything that's true, especially in religion. Like, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm terrified of dying because there's so many unknowns that you don't have any control. And it's like, there's so many doubts that you can have. Like, I don't know how people just wholeheartedly believe things, you know? So, like, okay. kind of. I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, no, no, I'm fine with it. Like, I okay. just, I know it's not coming in anytime soon. I mean, I hope not, but yeah, I'll I just forget about it, focus on it later when it actually matters. Um, hmm. Is there, with, with the box, Yeah. would... If it, this thing existed, would you even really utilize it very often, or would you just uh, not um, really want to ask it anything, hardly? Um, I mean, there's little things I'd want to know, but okay. not like big crazy, like... So you wouldn't like, ask it like a million questions? Yeah. I mean, little small things, like, is Michael Jackson actually dead? Like, little <laughs> things, like... <laughs> little things That's like funny. that like there's, there's so many things though that don't match up <laughs> so like would you ask it what happens after you die hmm that would bring me a lot of peace i probably would okay i was like it's probably the last thing i'd ask it I, I guess uh why wouldn't you want to ask it everything 
Like, I feel like if you knew everything, it'd be boring. You're never going to learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the fun of learning? Do you, uh, how much do you value believing in things that are true? Like, how important is that to you? I mean, I'm, I guess I don't want to miss, miss, um, misinform people. Like, if I'm relaying something to you and I believe it's true, I want it to be 100% true. Make sure. I don't want to misinform anybody about anything. Okay. Gotcha. So I guess I'd value things yeah. that I know are true. What about, like, for you internally, like, personally? I don't know. If you had... Yeah, <laughs> If you had a belief that was false and you didn't know it, would you want to know that it was false? Yeah, like, if I'm hurting others by my false belief, then... Even if it's not, would you still want to know? If it's not hurting anyone, I'm not sure. You're not sure? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily have... Like, you... Uh, I don't know. Okay. It's a hard question to like put something to. Sure. To like relate it to. Alright, let's see how long. Alright, yeah, we've been going quite a bit. Um I guess uh we'll kinda wrap it up. Okay. Um I'll hand over the metaphorical question asking stick to you. Is there <laughs> anything that you wanna have any um, questions for me? What do you think happens after death? I don't know. You don't know? See? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not I'm not terrified though. No. Yeah, I mean I think whatever happens after we die, whether it's nothing or something. Um I don't know that I have much control over that. So It doesn't scare you. I mean I don't want to die. Yeah. Right? But uh, <laughs> um no, like um if there's some sort of afterlife, fantastic. That's a bonus. Yeah. I look at it as a bonus. If there's not well, it that's just as it is. It's not so much. Uh, it's not like I can change it. Could yeah. I change it? I don't think so. I think I could. If I can, I definitely don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's it. All right. So I'll let that's your, I'll let your uh, buddy uh, and Veronica talk then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll give you a, a keychain here. Thank you. Get you a business card, and then uh, you. Do you know any children, or do you enjoy reading children's books yourself? <laughs> I'm actually an after-school teacher. Oh I teach gosh. little kids how to build Legos. Oh my god. I teach them how to build robots out of Legos. It's very cute. I actually go to that in a couple hours. I think Veronica. Where is she? Veronica! There you go. Thanks. Sorry, I was looking for the books. Not a problem. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I found it. Thank you for all the goodies. You want yeah. me to take both of these? You can take both of them. I mean, if you if you want both of them, if you find you think you'll have use for them. Yeah, I can probably read them to people. You know where Franklin went? Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's the camera. Perfect. Emma might talk about something too. Cool. All right. All right. Thank cool. you. Cool.